If you're a person with diabetes, then food safety is a top priority. When you have a weakened immune system, it's even more important to keep your food safe. That weakened immune system can make it more difficult for your body to fight off the various bacteria and viruses that can cause foodborne illness. This is also key for older adults for this same reason. They may also have weakened immune system if they have a chronic condition or they're just getting um, older in years. So make sure we always remember the four easy steps of food safety. Number one is to make sure that we keep everything clean. We wash our hands, utensils, and surfaces often. Number two is to keep our food separate. We want to make sure that we keep raw meats separate from fresh, fresh fruits and vegetables. An easy thing to do with cutting boards is use a red cutting board for meats and use a yellow or a green cutting board for fruits and vegetables. That way you're never cross-contaminating those foods. Also keep in mind of what knife you're using. If you're using a knife to cut the raw meat, make sure that you're washing that or using a different knife to cut up your fresh fruits and vegetables because cross-contamination can happen that way as well. The third thing to remember is to make sure you're cooking your foods properly to the proper temperature and use a thermometer um, to make sure that your foods are getting to that proper temperature. For poultry, it's 165 and for stuffing, it's 165 as well. You can look for more resources on our website and there will be more information about cooking, Thanksgiving dinner, and different side dishes. Number four is to chill. Make sure that you're chilling your leftovers quickly and not leaving them out all day. That can lead to a huge food safety risk. Food should not be left out for any longer than two hours total. So if you take them out, they're out for an hour, and then you put them back in, and you take them out for another hour. You can't continue that two hours every time. It's an accumulation of two hours. Um, next, uh, when you have diabetes, it's really important that you're checking your blood sugars regularly, even on holidays. Holidays count too, and so we want to make sure that we're keeping those levels balanced. Um, a way that you can do that is make sure you're having some activity during your day, and take a close look at what uh, foods are going to be offered. If you're the host, then you'll know exactly what foods are going to be there and know your numbers. Know what carbohydrates are in the foods that you're eating on Thanksgiving. If you're not the host, then go ahead and give the host a call a day or two ahead so that you can be prepared and know um, what foods are going to be available there and how you can fit them into a balanced diet. Again, when you're dishing out your plate, make sure you're first focusing on plenty of lean meats and vegetables so that you're getting plenty of protein and fiber. Those are going to help to slow your digestion and keep your blood sugars more regular. Another uh, tip for someone with diabetes, especially on Thanksgiving, is make sure that you don't skip meals. That can put you on a roller coaster of up and down blood sugars throughout the day. And sometimes it's difficult to recover from that even uh, the following days. So make sure you're not skipping those meals. When you're planning your meals, um, you want to make sure that even if you're having a quick little snack before you go, that you're having, again, the protein and the fruit or the vegetable together with that so that you're having that correct pairing with the protein and the carbohydrate. Also keep in mind of the whole weekend. Um, planning ahead for a thanks Thanksgiving weekend, sometimes that actual Thanksgiving day is not the culprit for bad habits. Um, many times we have a plan for Thanksgiving day and we have that day in mind. We know exactly what we're going to eat to stay on track with our health goals, but it's the things that pop up on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that throw us off. So have those he quick healthy choices um, prepared in your refrigerator ahead of time so that you can stay on track with your goals.